Hey, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Woohoo! Yeah, so today we did it. Today marks the 35th anniversary since the original release of Super Mario Brothers in Japan. And to celebrate the occasion, Nintendo now has websites uh, uh, Nintendo Japan. They have websites for the original Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Bros. to the Lost Levels. So, it's just Super Mario Bros. the Lost Levels, so yeah. And hopefully you can follow me on Twitch because later today I'm gonna play some Mario a uh, Mario All Stars on the virtual console. So if that sounds good to you, that sounds good to me. Now let's get started. Let's -a go. Alright, so usually I use Safari for everything I do, but since uh, it doesn't have a translator and I have to do uh, go through all sorts of crap to do it, I am going to uh, use Google Chrome and Google Translate uh, for today. So here we go, that's definitely Japanese, so I can't read that. And we're going to change it to English. So that way we can, um, um, so that way we can listen to it, so... Yeah, there we go, and and yeah, it's called 3D Collection in uh, Japan. There's Mario Bros. 35. And apparently, Age of Calamity is called the Pockets of Disaster in Japan, and this is called Derby Stylation. I don't know. Right, well, let's not get distracted. So let's just go all the way down here. There's our socials right there. You can just pa pass it. Yes. So we're gonna go to the original Super Mario Bros. first because you know that's uh, our main focus today. And here we go. That's Japanese, so I can't read that. And here is some original artwork we got here. Let's open this in a new tab and check this out. Um, right. Um, so this artwork, um, is actually pretty cool. And, uh, it just shows how the characters have evolved and changed from where they began. And, uh, some of them look almost completely different. Like, uh... For example, and like for example, Bowser, Peach, Toad. Um, let's just go a couple of them. So obviously Mario in the middle looks definitely recognizable, but he kind of looks a little bit fatter in this in this version. Um, so I don't know what has happened. Maybe he must have slimmed down. <laughs> yeah, maybe he must have slimmed down since the original release. But uh, yeah, there's uh, the castle, and there's Peach. Or as she was back then, Princess Toadstool, and apparently she looks like a little kid. She looks like a little kid, whereas now she's very recognizable with, uh, you know, all uh, you know, she's uh, she's tall and and she has um, a much better looking crown, and she has uh, blonde hair instead of brown, as her brunette hair. Um, but yeah, this just looks like a, a kid, and uh, the toads are super weird. Um, on the right, there's a normal toad, and the on the right and in the left, there's a red toad. Um, I don't know what to say about these toads. They are mostly like, "Yay, Mario! Yay!" Um, but then, like, like a lot of the enemies have changed. Like, like, like his face, like he face is different. Uh, the, the Goomba, which is being punched by Mario. Um, the Koopas look definitely different. Um, I think that's a Hammer Bro. Um, yeah, the bull bells don't look that different. And here's Bowser's castle, and Bowser's in, Bowser himself, um, or as he was known back then, uh, um, uh, just the Koopa, or, uh, King Koopa. Um, he looks very different. His skin is, uh, uh, black, and he has, uh, a yellow hair. And his, and his, uh, shell is very green. He looks completely different from the final Bowser model that we all know of today, and um, and apparently it looks more creepy. I don't know why Mario was smiling just like right uh, right in front of him. This looks, like, this looks like a guy that can haunt your dreams, people. So anyway, let's look at the original artwork and uh, let's see what we got going on here. Um, here it is. Uh, look, like, I think this one is translated. And here's, here's the modern character models, so yeah, World 1-1, um, some models there. Mario Bros is on, Mar 
the Mario Bros are on a big adventure, that's a spelling mistake there, aiming at Bowser Bowser Castle to help uh, re rescue um, Princess Peach, um, the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, who has been, uh, from, uh, uh, from the Mushroom Kingdom, has been kidnapped. I'm not sure. Um, what does this say? Yeah, the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. I was correct. On on a on a com only on a complete uh, uh, try to complete this adventure. I don't know what that says because a lot of things are blocking the way. There was one one dash one one dash two and, and two dash two, um, and there's a lot of text around here. So maybe this is all just for show. And uh, yeah, looks like this is all just for show, but. I mean, this is super cool, and of course, there's the 35th anniversary. Let's go to the Super Mario Bros. 2 website. Oh, that's cool. Mario goes down the pipe. And here it is, Super Mario Bros. 2, or The Lost Levels. Um, this game is super frustrating. Higher difficulties in the previous work for those who played Super Mario Bros while maintaining the basic system. It also incorporates nasty gimmick gimmicks such as um, a mushroom that, uh, mushrooms, it's just poison mushrooms, I think that's what it says. They're damaged when uh, taken in tailwinds that are swept away by the body. A total of 52 courses, including those that can be played if the conditions, um, uh, if the conditions are 1.5 times as many, of the conditions are 1.5 times as and as many courses as the previous work are waiting for you. So yeah, instead of playing two people alternating the previous work, you can choose between either Mario and Luigi. Luigi has a higher jump than Mario and is slippery. I like how they emphasize how this game is trash. <laughs> like that is uh, so good. And here we have 7-1, uh, 1-1, and 7-3. Which looks a bit more like C3 to be honest with you. Um. Anyway, yeah, that's it, and we can go back. So, yeah, that is the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary in a nutshell. Um, so, first of all, um, our, our mission has been complete, and uh, Mario has reached 35 years, and we do now have to wait uh, four years. It's like somebody has this exciting for five minutes, and then it says, I can't wait until five more years. So, I hope that. Uh, they continue to release uh, an amazing line of Mario uh, titles, and they have this tradition where they they release um, again like one or two years after the anniversary, the tenth anniversary, a year after we got Mario 64, twentieth anniversary, two years later we got um, Mario Galaxy, thirtieth uh, anniversary on that day we got Super Mario Maker, but then but that was not like an actual like Mario Adventure game, but that then two years later we got Super Mario Odyssey. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And peace out. Happy birthday, Mario.